Hello everyone, I'm Brian and today I'm doing a trailer reaction to The Wrath of Man, trailer number one, 2021. So Jason Statham, he's not a bad actor. Uh, most of his movies are actually pretty good, uh, mostly action movies where he's acting like a complete bad A. Um, other than that, I uh, not much else to say. I don't know anything about this. I think I've seen like a trailer kind of come up. It's like, oh, that's interesting. I hit skip. So uh, I want to make sure I react without knowing anything about it other than Jason Statham. Let's go ahead and give this trailer a shot. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a new addition. H. Yeah, that, that's, I remember that part in the trailer. Specialize in cash trucks across LA. You know when he played during what, Do you YouTube ads? how dangerous this job can be? Some out there, yeah. We ain't the predators. We're the prey. Hmm. You ready? Ready. Man, they make it sound serious. This is your temporary side on. Why aren't you full of flint pistols in a machine gun fight? Do you have a problem? I don't know. Do I? <laughs> the 10 grand drop you should have been back five minutes ago they're serious leave this to me get in the truck next time sorry pal Ooh. dang again action very bad day like Oh, I was gonna say paint it. He's not a cop. But if he's not a cop, what is he? A while back, we lost two cops. A civilian, too. There was an investigation. And they still haven't found the scum who did it. Hmm. You were in an accident. Oh. My my son. Oh. He didn't make it. I need to know who killed my son. A tree has been shook, and it's been shook hard. It's like a John Wick scenario. We've scorched earth. You started by saying you'd do anything. And what I'm hearing is, you think you've done everything. I can see it's gonna be a long night. Jeez. Just That'd be an inside job. You're keeping a straight face too. Can do in two weeks. Okay, this looks actually really good. Years. I don't do bear a grudge. Hmm. Okay, wow, let's go over the trailer. Okay, I was I was expecting like a bad A movie, but bad A and taking it seriously and having a you know an objective. All right, let's give this trailer a shot. So I guess he signed up for just like an armored transport security. And apparently he, I don't know what kind of training he had to be that good of a shot. There's no way, you know, accuracy. I believe the statistics of accuracy of bullets like 60%. So out of 10 shots, six will hit. And those hitting shots are not necessarily fatal shots either. Those are even uh, fatal shots or I don't know what the statistics on that one is. But he, I mean, it looks pretty good. <laughs> I kind of like the, uh, kind of like the outfits there. I, like, I really do enjoy John Wick. I do enjoy some of Jason Statham's movies. It's just it gets a little bit, a little ridiculous in terms of how good he is. Um, but you know, and it takes away a little bit of the, uh, I guess the, um, the worry. I don't know what the right word is. It's like he's so good that you don't really care. But I will say this, if he's so good and the action is really good and how he does is so good, it could be enjoyable, entertaining. It can be out of the realm of reality, but enjoyable. Maybe I'll overanalyze a little too much. <laughs> you bring a pistol to a machine gun fight. <laughs> John Wick brought a, pi a pencil. Well, actually, he didn't bring a pencil. He, he, so he was given a pencil, I believe. I like... Uh, we've got to play the scene again. This scene was really... It was actually pretty good. 
Let me handle this. Get in the truck next time. Sorry, pal. Like how so casual he is too. And look at that. He's just he was exposed. Who is this lunatic? Just so how casual he was, like unflinching, unemotional, calculated. I was, I was wondering why he was like, why did they bring a, like, why did they bring a paintball? Really? I guess that makes sense. And it looks like they realized who he was right there. And we find out that he, during one of the heists, I suppose, the son got involved and ended up getting killed and he got shot and injured. But I wonder what his background is. Ex-military, ex-special forces, because there's no way he's that good of a shot as a civilian, unless he, he's like one of those, you know, people who take self-defense very seriously, especially in the Second Amendment, gun rights. It's been shooken up so well. And like our hair, the, the exit scene here too is just amazing. Like again, unflinching, unemotional, calculated. Boom. He he knew exactly who to sh I can see it's gonna be a long night. Actually, wait a minute, they're all tied up. He's shooting people who are tied up. I didn't realize that the first I can time see around. It's gonna be a long night. <laughs> it's gonna be a long night. Shot him in the back of the the back of the uh, leg there. It looks like in the Achilles tendon or somewhere along this line, the ankle. Just because the padding, the it looks like what the bulletproof area is in the front, but a point point black range, man, that more than likely will penetrate. It loses uh, it loses a lot of velocity the longer the range is, but. Whew. And it had to still choke him out. So I wonder if they're gonna try to turn this into a John Wick story, uh, like a uh, not John Wick, but like. You know, a couple of epi uh, episodes, movies. I will say that, but that looks actually really good. I really do. I do like bad, bad A movies. More in the realms of reality. The thing that's out of reality in this one is his his amazing aim. But I can suspend some reality and still enjoy the movie. And his ability to aim, I suspend that a little bit. I can't. I, I hopefully he's not freaking a hundred percent accuracy in everything, and it's just showing. Just the trailer itself is showing that he's that good. Just to emphasize how good he is of a shot, and explain why he's a good shot like that. Just there's no way. I, I mean, I can understand that maybe after that trauma, he trained himself over and over and over and over again to be that good of a shot. Some pe people do have hidden talent that they don't know about until they actually do something and realize they're good at it. So based purely on this trailer, and I must say I'll give this a four. I do want to watch it. I've been I, I love the John Wick series, and to have a different style of John Wick would be great. I guess when I say John Wick, I guess like a person who's really good at gun fu, <laughs> not the uh, not that one movie where they actually literally have a gun fu combat. I think it was Equilibrium, and it was supposed to compete against the Matrix. As Bad A as that move the the gun fu is, it's just ridiculous. But anyways, this one, I must say I'll give it a four. I can't wait. What about you guys? Based purely on this trailer alone, were you able to say five a must watch, a four will watch, a three may watch, a two minute watch, or two a may not watch, or a one won't watch? Let me know in the comments below. Explain the reason why. If you like my content, please consider subscribing. Thumbs up, thumbs down down below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next vid.